Well, hey everybody, this is Wild Dandelion Jen, an easy peasy lunch for you. Okay, so here's the seasoning. I've got a little bit of onion powder, pink Himalayan salt, nutritional yeast, Italian seasoning, smoked chipotle pepper, some sweet basil, some black pepper, and a little bit of garlic. And this is one of my favorite dishes. So basically, I've just spiralized a bunch of zucchini and cut up a couple of green onions. One large zucchini is enough. And then I get that into some olive oil on a low heat. Don't want to cook olive oil very high, so I keep that pretty, pretty low, medium low. And I'll start softening these. I've added all my seasonings, and that's just to taste. You can put as much or as little as you would like. And then I've had some fresh basil in my garden, so I grabbed four large leaves and I spread those in there. And I eat once a day, so I want to make sure that my meal is super hearty, super healthy, and covers all the bases that I need. And so I put a little bit of a rotisserie chicken shredded up in this, or as I have here, a little bit of organic turkey lunch meat. And then I'm going to add some vegan cheese. It's called chow cheese, and it has a very provolone, kind of white cheddar flavor. So it melts really nice and creamy in there, just like you would want it on a pasta. And so I'll mix that all together. And then I'll be throwing in my element that makes this like an Italian dish. I'm going to throw in about a third of a cup of organic tomato sauce, and I'm going to soften that a strong acid flavor that you get in a can of tomato sauce with just about a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of some wildflower honey. That's just going to soften it up, bring all the flavors together, and I'm going to toss that around, let it soften up a little bit, caramelize just slightly, even though it's a low heat, it'll give a little caramel. I'm going to throw about a cup's worth of basmati rice in here that I've pre-cooked and cooled. That's gonna take on the flavors of everything else, but it's gonna give that wonderful kind of starch element that you look for when you normally would eat a pasta dish. And since I cannot eat wheat or some of the other um, alternatives, I can eat rice. And so to put that rice in here, I don't really like rice pasta very well because I don't think it cooks up quite as nicely and blends as well with the zucchini, but this uh, flaky rice, it's tender, it pulls in all the flavors and it's very neutral and very balanced in this and gives it a just a nice round richness with that more raw zucchini flavor. It's nice to have that starch in there. So this skillet full here will be my entire meal since I only actually eat one prepared meal a day and then I eat fruit around that or some quinoa chips and maybe some homemade dip. Um, so this is my main meal that I usually eat somewhere around noon or three or four o'clock and that's pretty much my last meal and only meal for the day. But it's such a quick cook. It's, it really uh, plays very nice on your taste buds. It's so comforting. It's got the umami flavors in there. It's just very satisfying. It's very quick. It takes you about oh less than 10 minutes to put this together. And sky's the limit, you know, if you'd like to leave out meats, make this totally vegan, then you could put some garbanzo beans in there, or you could throw some black beans in there. You could use quinoa instead of rice, um, since that is a seed and it is not a grain. And um, just enjoy that. That would just be um, a wonderful dish, and I'm sure I will try this on one of my future creations. Oh, I hear my little grandson cooing in the background. My daughter's home from Washington. and She's on a FaceTime with him, so I can hear him in the background. He's so cute. So I'm just going to finish this out, plate it up, and I'll show you the finished product. So there you have it. Smells divine. Can't wait to eat it. I'm going to finish this whole entire skillet, and I'm going to love every bite of it. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Give this a thumbs up, leave a comment. If you have any questions about more details in the recipe, really, no fail. You can put any amount of any of these ingredients to your own liking. So I just basically wanted to provide you with all the ingredients and then you put as much or as little as you would like. You can't go wrong with this. And at the end, you'll see my new uh, Wild Dandelion logo with the scan to shop. All you have to do is pause the screen, 
uh, use your scanner from your phone app on there and it'll take you straight to the website. So with that, God bless, make it a great day, and I'll bring you another fun video of food in the very near future.